skin and I look just amazing today. It's way past my bedtime, but I told somebody I would do this video for them. And then when I decide I'm going to do a video, it's like I have to do it. So here I am. Okay. So here was someone's question. They said, universe, um, if I want to put a PDF on my KB Core website and I want people to download, be able to download that PDF, how do I do that? Because in KB Core, you can't actually upload a file to be downloaded. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to find a place a somewhere on the interwebs where we can host that file and make it a link. So I'm going to show you what I did. So on my latest blog posts, I created this short and sweet little blog, A Millennial's Guide to Homeownership. Now, the first thing I want to say right here is this is not a lead generating um, way to do it. So I'm going to show you what I did to answer the question. But then in a next, in a following video that I'm going to make tomorrow or this weekend, um, it'll be the video after this one, <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page so you can actually generate a lead um, for, for people to download your stuff. But I'm going to show, I'm going to answer the question. Okay. So here is um, a blog post that I created. I could also do this as a custom page. Um, but I made it as a as a blog post for now. And the reason I did that is because it is a spring edition. Um, I've done I'm doing spring edition guides right now. So this guide is Millennials Guide to Home Ownership. Now this one's a little more um, what do you call it evergreen post in a way. Um, but it they could update it. Um, but the buyer and seller's guides that I'm going to be doing are both spring editions for 2019. So that's why I'm choosing to do these as blog posts. But anyway, um, I do have a link here. And this image is also a link. If I click on the link, it brings me, it's a public link that anybody can view. And it's going to show up like this for them, whether they have a Google account or not. OK, and then what they're going to be able to do from here is they're going to be able to view it or download it. And um, that's what uh, this person who asked how how to do this wants to be able to do. So let me show you how I did it. All right, I am in my KB Core blog section. I'm going to click on add post. I think I already copied when I want to paste my clipboard. Yep, I did. I'm so smart. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to write some copy here that says download your free buyer guide. Uh, spring. And uh, spring. So I, I just, I'm getting that ready. All right, but what I've got to do is I've got to take the PDF and I have to host it and I'm going to host it on my Google Drive. So I have a Google account. It's a free account for me. Um, I do happen to have a G Suite account that I pay for, but you don't have to have one. As long as you have a Google account, you can do this. So you're going to go to your Google Drive. And what I've done, and now this is really important, is I have created a folder, and hopefully it's going to pop up here, that says this. I'm going to click on it as soon as my poor little slow computer decides to load. Here it goes. So this is the folder. It's called um, Hosted Files for SylviaDana.exprealty.com. Okay, so this is where I'm putting all my files um, that I want to be publicly hosted so that people can access these things or see these things on the internet, but I'm storing them here. So these are hosted files that I can share on websites that will be downloadable for people to use and see. 
So, so this first one is the Millennials Guide to Home Ownership. This is an image, and this is an uh, selling your house guide. So let me show you for the for the buyer's guide. So that's what we're working on right now. So here is the buyer's guide. I'm going to add it to this folder. There we go. <laughs> now it's working. Okay. A couple things I want you to note about this folder, and this is what's really important. So I created this folder, hosted files for sylviadana.expreality.com, and I made it shareable, meaning it's public. Anybody on the internet can find and view it. So how I did that is I used this little drop down, and I selected public, or anyone on the internet can find and view. Okay, so that is super important to know. So everything in this folder will also have the same sort of viewing rights. So everything I put in this folder will match what um, the actual folder permissions are. So here, here's the, the document. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click or control click. I'm going to click on get shareable link just to make sure the link sharing is on. Just want to make sure. And then it says it's public and anyone can find and view. Then I'm going to click inside um, the link and I can copy this. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just open it up because it's easier to see. And these little ellipses here where it says more actions, I'm going to click here and click on share and copy the link. Anyone on the internet can find a view. I'm gonna copy this link. Okay, so it's copied to my clip clipboard now. So I'm gonna go back to my KB Corp blog post that I was working on. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this copy where it says download your free buyer guide. I'm going to insert a link, and the link I'm going to insert is the downloadable um, document that we just created. Here where it says target, I'm going to open this up in a new window. That means when somebody clicks on this link to download, it will open up in a new tab instead of overriding your KB Core website. So people won't have to go back to your website. It'll Your website will still be open, so you won't lose um, the activity on your website. You don't want to steer them away from your website quite yet. So that's why we're opening it in a new window. So when people click on the link, it'll just open in a new tab. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image here. Now, one thing your blog will allow you to do in KB Core is include an image. So I had made a little copy a little screenshot of the image here. Click OK. And it the image right here is already selected. I'm also going to add the link to that image. So that way, if somebody clicks on the image, it will take them to the download. I'm going to give it a title, your Spring 2019 Home Buyer Guide. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to publish it. So that's how you do it. Okay. Um, and it should work the same exact way. You should always test it, of course. One thing to note about our KB Core blog <laughs> is sometimes it doesn't refresh. Um, and show up on your website immediately. So what you got to do is you just have to um, look in your back office here and make sure that it's 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 there, it's published, um, <laughs> and and it will show up. But it just might not do it immediately. Let's see if it did show up. If it did, that would be lovely. But 